finding the pace car, I think I got lucky because I opened Facebook one day and there it was. Of course, Facebook kind of has a tendency to know what you're looking for, which is a whole different topic. Yeah, they're not listening to you, don't worry. I open it up and there she sits. 1979 Ford Mustang pace car stored in a garage its entire life. And I about fell out of my chair. But I got up real quick because I called him right away. His phone was blowing up because everybody wants one, especially when it has eight original miles on the odometer. Now you don't find that every day. You don't find that ever. So I called Dan and Cheryl who were selling the vehicle. They inherited it in the estate. I told him, please let me see it first. Well, I knew I had to get there quickly and I didn't even bother letting Swizzle Chips here know about it. So I grabbed the F-250 and headed down to St. Louis. Oh uh, yeah, the moment I've been waiting for since I was a kid. Where's it at? Let's take a look. All I want right. you to show me some of the things that you remember having, because it sounds like there's some uh, <laughs> paraphernalia that goes with the vehicle. Yeah. Oh yeah. They opened the hatch and it was literally like a Mustang museum. <laughs> 